quickly onto the front foot and in the air past the fielder. It looked very close from that angle. But the fast outfield beating. Well, there's no justice in the world for PJ Backer. Moral success against Hudson, but uh, the batsman's picked up four straight behind the keeper. Really loose shot by Andrew Hudson. He tends to do this from time to time. This is why his record isn't better than it is. Look at that. Really not a shot befitting of a top quality opening batsman. Forty-nine for no wicket. That's a good stroke. My goodness me. Jeffrey. Well, he just stood up and belted it through the line of the ball. Just shows how good this pitch is. It's as good as anything in the World Cup, this surface. Really is flat. The ball comes on nicely. Hit away, and that'll be four. Though the man is squarer than usual because there's a short fine leg in. That's got past him to his right. Well, this ball wasn't too short. It's only medium pace and this good pitch, nice bounce. He's able to get into this shot very quickly. That'll be four. Jeffrey Boycott was saying you cannot bowl medium pace short on here any more than you can pitch it up too far either. Yes, I'd hate to be a bowler on this surface, I must say. I don't think there'll be too many people uh, on the Holland team queuing up to have a bowl. Somebody will have to bowl the 50 overs. The run rate creeping towards six in the early stages. There will be four more. Goodness me. Well, that was just contempt. He just dismissed that. Short of a length, width. He just sort of cuffed it away as if uh, disdainfully saying, well, you can't bowl that sort of stuff at me. That's a cracking shot. It's a shot that Andrew Hudson played extremely well because he actually decides when to take it early and hit it just in front of square, which he did then. Well, we practiced the ball before. This one slightly off the toe end, but perfectly placed. And the fast outfield did the rest. That's oh, beautifully played. It catch a bit low, but Hudson just waited and flicked it and timed it perfectly, and that races away for four. 142, 143, 144. For no wicket. Catch it, they shout. Well, well, he could have, but it would have been over the roof. And maybe it was one of the spectators in the, in the stand that he shouted to catch it. Andrew Hudson on 99. And there it is. Century for Andrew Hudson. He hasn't been under any pressure today, but he's done everything right. Congratulated by Flavian Aponzo. Lovely piece of sportsmanship which has been indicative of this 1996 Wills World Cup. 104 balls with eight boundary fours and one six. Also proves that you need quite a number of fielders over there to stop these sweep shots. Four runs. And the captain's annoyed, Jeffrey. Well, he's a bit animated. He obviously wants... Uh, people in a certain position he's not exactly got them there well that's his own fault for bowling he shouldn't bowl until he's got the fielders in the exact position he wants that could well be four runs and is again the sweep from outside off stump and hits square well he played this to good effect against Mushtak, the leg spinner, and I think he got to carry on playing the sweep. Still to be Aponzo with his offspin. And it's his last over. Another cracking shot straight down the ground, that's going to be four. Yes, these offspinners both bowl it quite slowly. And they're not getting much spin at all. 
batsman have got plenty of time to use the feet. Oh! That was a no ball called. That's a lost ball now. Sixer. So they've got to hold themselves together out Holland now because uh, although South Africa have taken runs easily, they could just now really get stuck into the bowling and the wheels could come off for captain, fielder and bowlers. And that's it. Cracking shot at the back foot. The ball dropped short. That's four runs. And it's 150 to Andrew Hudson. Well, it was a magnificent shot to bring up uh, his 150. He picks that shot up very quickly from just short of a length. Just short of a length and sort of half gets forward and then rocks back and just smacks it over midwicket. fielder right up on the terraces for six two sixes and two balls well this is just a replay of the one before this is one of his uh, better shots he likes that pull pulls from almost half on the front foot and just hit it with some power And that's in the air. That might be caught. It is. He's gone. But Andrew Hudson, having got to his 150, began to take the aerial route. But an innings highly fluent, full of variation, lots of sweep shots. A small man and his punishment of the Holland bowling, very much due to timing. And so Andrew Hudson departs, fourth president. Well, Hooker, 161, 274 for two. 